Hey guys, here's a new tutorial for you. So the look we're going for today is quite dramatic and fun. It's perfect for a night out, maybe a party or even like a prom or formal event. As you can see, it's very smoky and has tons of glitter. So I'm beginning by applying a BB cream. And this is going to act as a moisturiser and primer for the face. Seeing as I can't wear this alone, it makes my face very orange. That's why I'm using it underneath my foundation. So then I'm applying my foundation over the top using the Sigma F80 brush and I'm using that in a stippling motion and making sure I blend it down my neck. I then like to go over the entire face using a damp sponge to eliminate any brush strokes and smooth everything out. If you have a beauty blender they're perfect to use, I just don't have one anymore. And then after that I'm concealing and highlighting my face with my Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm just using my fingers to dot that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit into my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin, and then I'm going to blend that out with that same damp sponge that I just used. So highlighting the face and contouring the face helps to add dimension and stops your face from looking really flat and all the same, all the same tone. So I'm just blending that out with small dabbing motions to get a really natural look. The next step after that is brows. I'm just quickly brushing through them before I'm filling them in lightly with a pencil. Just going for a really natural look so you don't want anything too dark or too heavy. Anything that will match your hair. If you prefer to use a powder then by all means go ahead and do that. This is just what I do on a daily basis. It's a little bit quicker and easier so I just tend to stick with that. And then after I've filled them in, I'm just going to brush through them again to disperse that product and make it look a little bit more natural. And once I've done that, I'm just going to use a Sigma F80 brush with a little bit of foundation to tidy that up. Here you can see I'm using a piece of cardboard or a business card to get a really sharp defined line on the outside. You can use the sticky tape method, as a lot of people already know, but I couldn't find any at the time, so cardboard it was. And then I'm just using the Sigma E40 brush to run a small amount of wedge eyeshadow through the crease just to help everything blend out nicely. And then after that I'm taking a slightly smaller brush with a gunmetal eyeshadow, so a dark silver colour, and I'm just using windscreen wiper motions to slowly build that colour up and blend it out so it's nice and soft. As you can see I've taken away that cardboard and I'm just continuing to blend until I'm happy. And then with the E55 brush, I'm packing an eyeshadow called Silver Gull by MAC, and I'm packing that onto the lid with padding motions. And then, as you can see, just going back into that small brush and blending it all together. Here I'm taking the E40 brush again, and I'm just setting my under eye concealer with the e.l.f. under eye HD powder. The next step is to go back in and darken up that eye. I'm using the E25 brush, I believe it's called. I'll pop all the brushes down in the description below. And I've just got that cardboard there again to define that line. And I'm just using the same motions to darken up that, that eyeshadow. Here you can see I'm just going back and forth between the black. Sorry, which is actually bulletproof by Sugar Pill. I forgot to mention that. So I'm just going between the black and that gunmetal shadow and just blending them all together so it's nice and has a nice blend and a gradient effect. And then I'm taking the E55 brush again and I'm taking Sugar Pill Tiara Loose Eyeshadow, which is a gorgeous silver, and I'm just popping that all over the lid. And then next is a combination of glitters. I'll pop them down below. One is by NYX and one is by LA Splash Cosmetics, so I'll pop those the name of those down below so you can check them out and I'm just applying them with a damp brush. The next step is to take the same eyeshadows we've used and pop them under the lower lash line. I'm just using a really small smudger brush for that. I'm starting out with the gunmetal, then adding some silver and then going and adding the black at the outer edge there. The next step after that is to add some eyeliner. So we're going with a pencil liner and we're lining the waterline and then tight lining as well, which is along the top lashes. Just makes them 
look nice and thick and full. So I'm just using that a black, a black eyeliner pencil for that. And then we're going in with gel liner, and I'm using the E65 brush from Sh from Sigma, sorry. And I'm using the Maybelline gel liner to create a nice winged liner. I do have a video on that, so I'll probably link that in the description below, so you can check that out if you want a more detailed tutorial on that. So nothing too dramatic or too thick, just a nice simple wing across the top there. Then I'm applying my mascara. This one I'm using here is Essence Lash Mania Reloaded. It's a great mascara, it's really cheap, it's about six dollars um, and it gets the job done, it's, it's really good. So popping that on top and bottom, you definitely don't want to leave out your lower lashes, it'll really finish off the look. Here I'm going in with Laguna Bronzer by NARS and I'm just using an F40 brush for that and applying that to my cheekbones a little bit up into the temples and the forehead and then I like to run what's left on the brush along my jawline. Then after that I am taking the same brush and I'm using Spring Sheen Blush by MAC. It's a gorgeous corally coral colour. Nice and shimmery. And here you can just say I'm blending those two together. And then I'm taking the e.l.f. blush brush and I'm taking an eyeshadow by MAC called A Natural Flirt and that's going to be my highlight colour. Just popped on the top of the cheekbones and the cupid's bow. And then I'm applying two different lipsticks by MAC. The first one is Creme de Nude and the second one is called Secret Lover. So we're just going for a nude lip. These lashes that I'm applying are called Mila. Um, they're by Medicare. I'm not sure if that's only an Australian thing or if they're available internationally, but I was really impressed with these lashes actually. Not usually the style that I go for, but I was really happy with them. So just pop those on. And then that's the final look. So as you can see, it's very dramatic, it's very sparkly and fun. Um, it can be toned down to something more wearable if you're not, not quite comfortable with this amount of makeup. Or you could even make it a little bit more dramatic than what it is. It's perfect for a night out or a party or even if you're going to prom or a formal. This could be very suitable for certain dresses. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that and let me know what you think.